Hello, Riot House here, and welcome back to episode 2 of our season 3.5 Let's Play series in Dwarf Fortress. I think it's going to be epic. Now, in the last Let's Play, I gave some incorrect information. <clears throat> and it follows. Uh, Sphalerite only uh, produces zinc. Uh, it is useful in uh, combining with copper in order to make brass. Uh, the trade value for zinc items is 2, and so is the trade value for copper items. It is also 2. What that means is, whenever you make an item out of zinc or copper, uh, the value of the item is multiplied by, let's see here, almost twice, I suppose. I think that's what it is. <clears throat> so, if you uh, combine copper with zinc, you get brass. And brass, then that item will be 250% more valuable because it has a trade value multiplier of 7. So, anywho, I know that's kind of complex, but just wrap your minds around it that brass is actually a uh, important commodity if we can find copper to make brass. So we have plenty of zinc, um, but no iron and no copper right now. So we won't be making zinc weapons. <laughs> zinc is a pretty soft metal but it's workable. I think we could use it to make enough profit for the fortress to purchase weapons. So if we can't make weapons directly just yet, maybe we can buy weapons. All right. So, yes. Uh, what is this over here? Sand? <clears throat> yellow sand. Apparently, we have yellow sand along the side of our fortress here. I don't know if I can actually harvest that. Or not not sure yet but uh, yeah let's get some storage designations set up here over here we'll go ahead and create storage for wood and then over here we can create uh, let's see here let's make a stockpile here and let's call this one not animals not wood either disable that. We'll put the cloth, leather goods, finished goods, weapons and armor, bars and blocks, ammo, and I think that should do it. And then over here uh, we can add the food stockpile for the rest of our food. Okay, so that should be good. It'll give our dwarves plenty of things to do. Uh, we are expecting new migrant waves sooner or later. That's good. The sooner the better. <clears throat> We're going to need a mason's workshop. As soon as the dwarves here are done carving out the center, we'll also throw down a trade depot. And uh, what else do we need to do? We should start carving out the locations for our workshops. Okay, so let's go ahead and have our dwarves do that. And I think that's what our entrance can look like. Something like that. Have it too wide. I know it's diagonal, so it's, it looks kind of odd. But that, that should work. So the dwarves will get in there. Start digging that out. Lots and lots of materials to move inside. And we can build our trade depot. Trade depot is a capital D. So hit B and then capital D to build your trade depot. And we'll build it out of marble. Marble's a very nice um, stone to work with. I like marble. Now it doesn't look like there's too much sphalerite veins at least uh, from what we've tunneled through so far. But we might go ahead and just tunnel down soon, uh, maybe a little later in this Let's Play, or the one after, and see if we can find other types of minerals. What I want to do is get the basic layout of our fortress along with our lodgings. What are these guys doing over here? What are these guys doing? They're eating, huh?
<laughs> cave lobster. That's what they're eating. Okay, so they're hauling around some cave lobster. They are supposed to put that in the food stockpile, but they couldn't resist. And they had to put their large <clears throat> gnashing teeth onto some cave lobster before uh, they finish their work. <laughs> Dwarves. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Oh, we have horses around here. Wow, okay. They are over here. That's cool. They're at the bottom. Near the bottom of the waterfall there. So here they come. We've got wild horses out in the field here. And look at all this space out here, guys. Oh! Whoa, I thought that horse was gonna fall. Gonna have some dead horses in the water soon enough. A herd of horses. Horses. All right. And I think we would benefit from creating some bins. So I'm going to create five bins. See, one of our dwarves just fell asleep. I think it's time to create some beds so they're not falling asleep on the ground like that. There we go, so the dwarves can go ahead and place down some beds to sleep on. That way they're not so grumpy. But yes, those bends should be very useful in freeing up some space in their stockpiles, which are pretty small right now. And I wonder when they're, they're going to come up with a patch uh, for this game where we can have rideable animals. That would be pretty neat to have mounted dwarves on battle rams. Things like that, you know? I think that would be a lot of fun. I should go ahead. There they go. Well, that's nice of them. They actually finished this bottom area down here before continuing with everything else. That's cool. They usually don't do that, right? All right, so uh, we'll pri uh, place down our woodcrafter there, and then I think we should go ahead and place down. Uh, what's it called? Let me see here. Farm plot, no. Furnaces. Here we go. A wood furnace. Yes, a wood furnace. We'll place down a wood furnace here, made out of marble. Now that's probably going to need what? Somebody with architecture. Okay, so there he goes. That is Mighty Nag has the architecture ability. Just going around and building that. That's good. And then here we can go ahead and tear down the carpenter shop outside. And our dwarves are hollowing out the storage rather well. And what is this? What is this? More sphalerites. Okay. Yes, yeah, so plenty of sphalerites. I think the whole mountain is going to be sphalerite. We're going to have to dig quite low into the earth, or quite deep rather, to start finding other types of metals. Mm 
All right, and then here we can go ahead and make this a bedroom. And why not? We'll make it as big as we can and assign it as a dormitory for now. It's rather rough around the edges, but it'll get the job done. We have five idle dwarves. Now, I think what we're going to do right now, then, is go ahead and build a farm so we can start growing some food. We might as well. We have plenty of seeds that we can go ahead. No mud slash soil for farm. Mud is left by water. But we should be able to grow it outside, right? don't know. Here, let's try a small plot, just a test plot, and see if this works for us. Can't go there. Has to go there. We'll see if it works. Maybe we can grow something outside. I don't know. But we'll see. Okay. And yes, they were able to make a wood furnace, which means we can make charcoal. So I'm going to queue up quite a bit of charcoal here. So we have plenty of charcoal. Charcoal is going to be useful. And we can start smelting some of that uh, zinc, some of the sphalerite, uh, for making items for trade. any seeds available because all of our seeds require underground farms yeah that's unfortunate all right well then we'll just go ahead and destroy this then okay well that's good to know though so we can go ahead and buy like strawberry seeds or uh, wheat seeds things like that from the, from the humans all sand around here. This whole area is pretty much yellow sand. Hmm. Lots and lots of yellow sand. Okay, let's go ahead and put our wood stockpile down. This will be wood and let's see wood and coal I'm thinking what would that go under coal let's see will be finished goods no would not be gems. Hmm. Coal. But this would be charcoal, actually, not coal. This would be charcoal. Let's try that. Uh, coal, potash, ash, pearl ash, pear ash, uh, pearl ash, and soap. Okay, so it might be that. Okay, yeah, we'll go with that and see if it works. So they should go ahead and move the wood over there. Let's go ahead and cancel this stockpile outside. Get everything inside. Should 
keep our dwarves nice and busy. And I'm wondering if I can make another wheelbarrow. There's a crutch. There's a wheelbarrow. There we go. We'll make... We will make several of those. We'll make... Mm. Well, that'll, make, that'll give us four wheelbarrows there. Okay. Four wheelbarrows. Now, I don't have anybody as a wood burner. So, let's set up... Templar, you can be our wood burner. Okay, so let's go ahead and view you. Now, for those of you guys who are wondering why I'm not using Dwarf Therapist, I'm not going to be using Dwarf Therapist during a recording, but I do use Dwarf Therapist, so... Just for your information. Alright, so this would be under... Perhaps Metalsmithing? Furnace Operating. There it goes. Uh, I don't think there's a wood-burning job, is there? There we go. So now we have a uh, furnace operator, and that should work, because that is considered a furnace. One of the many furnaces. I think there's kilns, wood burners, smelters, and one other. Like an oven or something. Alright, so they're grabbing all of the wood. I'm probably going to continue to task these guys with chopping down trees. Just so we have plenty of wood available. Inside the fortress. Now apparently they only the trees only grow on that slope. I'm not sure about this slope. Yeah, this is a rather treeless slope here. But this side has plenty of trees that we could cut down. To piss off our elven enemies. Yeah, definitely need to set up a hotkey here. Okay, let's do that right now. Let's see here. To set up hotkeys, hit Shift H and then choose your location. You can change the name. Let's go ahead and change the name to uh, Surface Trade. Or how about just uh, Main. We'll call this Main. Uh, that'll be good. And we'll have it zoom here. Alright. So now when we hit F1, Blamo. Alright, good. It works. Blamo. Alright. Okay, so now that they're all done with that, I think we can start <clears throat> mining out this area right here. This is going to be the stone. Stone crafting uh, the mechanic and the, the mason. And then over here, uh, close to the burner, we'll have the metal crafter. So we'll have the smelter and the metal crafter guy there, uh, the craftsman. And then maybe below we can have an additional shop. Yeah, and with uh, additional stockpiles right below them. So maybe we have uh, ladders going down that way as well. That's interesting. So we can just space 
economize here for the fortress. Could be a lot of fun. What I want is most of our very important money-making industries eventually to solely be right here around the trade depot so that when we ship goods up to the trade depot it's very quick and fast uh, that's what I would like to do all right so let's place down our masons make it out of marble why not And then the uh, mechanics. What was it? Workshop. The mechanics. There it is. We'll place that down right there out of marble as well. And I think we have a mechanic. Yes, there we go. Our mason's very busy now. We have several idlers. Who are the people that are idle right now? The woodcutters? Really? They should have a job. Unless they already cut down all the wood. They might have. There's two of them, so they work pretty fast, don't they? So, okay, guys. Go out there and chop down some more trees for the glory of our empire. And that should be plenty of trees. All right, plenty of trees. Okay, so now a profile requires a manager, really. Okay, anywho, let's go ahead and make some rock mechanisms. I'm thinking we need quite a few, so we'll build quite a few. And then I'm gonna build an up down, or an up stair, let's see here. That would be under construction, right? It's a capital C, is it? Yeah. And then upstairs, we'll place an upstairs right there, out of marble. And then we will make an. Let's see here. Designate downward stairway. Right above this upstairs. And we'll probably place one in each of these corners here. So our military can quickly get up and down to defend. So that probably means that, yeah, we're going to need to build quite a few of these stairs here. So let's build some upstairs. Here and an upstairs here. Oh, there's a building presence. Well, anywho, we'll build them where they can be built so far. And that's going to open up a lot more for our dwarves to go ahead and dig. These guys are going to be building some doors soon. Should probably also set a refuse pile outside. So we'll put refuse. Oh, refuse. There we go. This will be our refuse pile. Okay. What are our cats eating, though? Hamsters. There's hamsters in here. Hamsters. Cats are good at killing hamsters, because I think hamsters and rodents will eat your supplies, along with the rats, right? They'll eat up your food supplies.
Lemu Laban, our outpost. What a wonderful place. Wonderful indeed. So yes, this area up here is going to be for our uh, barracks. So we'll have um, weapons and armor stands in here. Uh, we'll have chests for them to load up their gear, etc. We might even divide the room into different rooms so that they can have places to sleep while they're on duty without having to go all the way back to uh, their personal rooms uh, while they're serving in the military. So they can do that when they're on leave and go back to their regular rooms when they're on leave, but uh, sleep on post when they're active. looking pretty good all right guys well I think we're gonna call this a let's play right here uh, when we come back we're gonna finish hollowing out the rest of the fortress I believe we're gonna have a migrant wave anytime now so we can expect more people to have their dwarves arrive and then we'll go through and name them and carry on with the let's play until then I'm Riot House and happy gaming <laughs>